What's good, angels? Welcome to episode five of Double Lifers. I can't believe it. We're already at episode five, girl. Episode five. Let's give ourselves a round of applause because I'm so proud of us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This series is where I give you all the advice I would give my younger self. We getting into it. Not a lot of people are gonna be happy with what I have to say, and that's okay. If you don't like what I have to say, <laughs> click off the video. It's literally that simple. I'm just going to speak my truth. This is all solely my opinion, my perspective on life. So if you don't agree with it, that is perfectly okay. Either take the advice or leave it, but don't say I didn't warn you. If y'all haven't checked out my previous video on Sex Education 101, what are y'all doing? Go check that out right now, right here, right here. Go check this video out right now. Your body is sacred and you wanna make sure that you're doing every single thing that you can to protect it. There's a lot of things in life that we can't control, but there are a lot of things in life that we can control. And that includes the situations that we put our own selves in. Remember, you are in control of what you do and what you don't do. You're in control of where you drive that car. You're in control of which party you go to. You're in control of your friends. You're in control of what you do, what you say, what you take what you eat what you drink okay you are in control you can't control what happens to you but you can control which situation you put your own self in you picking up what i'm putting down remember you are the ceo of your own life you can fire hire and promote who you want in your life you are in charge of the decisions that you make so please make sure you're making smart choices and don't feel like oh my gosh i have to make the right decision every single time no you're gonna make mistakes trust you're gonna make mistakes but i promise you all of those mistakes you're gonna learn from it and it's gonna be lessons for you it's your job to take care of your body and to protect it don't make decisions that you know can have a really bad outcome just because you're caught up in the moment or you're caught up in your feelings no 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 don't let your emotions run you don't let your emotions rule you emotions are good but you have to learn how to control your emotions and how to manage your emotions don't do things when your emotions are high because you're not thinking straight and the result is never worth it respect your yourself enough and respect your body enough to do what's needed and to protect your temple and to protect your energy and do what's needed to keep you safe. You are your protector and you are in charge of keeping yourself safe. You cannot continue to depend on everyone else to watch out for you, to look out for you, to tell you what to do, to tell you what not to do. No. If you're still a teenager or whatever, you have to start to learn that as you start to grow older, you are in charge of yourself and you need to start figuring out, okay, what decision is best for me and what's not, and is this even a good idea? If you're going to have sex, please make sure it's one, with someone you trust fully, you trust them. And two, you protect yourself. You use protection. Don't feel like you have to wait until marriage. I'm not saying that to say, go and sleep with Jackie, Lou, and Bobby Do. I'm saying, you don't have to wait until you're married to live with someone for the very first time that you don't even know take your time to get to know someone but don't rush into it and just don't feel guilty for doing what makes you happy but be safe make sure it's someone you can trust please understand that if you choose to have sex with someone that person could potentially be the parent of your child do you understand it could potentially be the parent of your child and or they could potentially transmit a disease or infection to you that will stay with you for the rest of your life rest of your life forever, forever. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not saying this is going to happen to you, 100% gonna happen to you. Like, don't ever do it because this is what's gonna happen. But I am warning you, it happens more than you know. Don't be naive in these streets. Don't think that it can't happen to you because it most definitely can. I would never wish that for you, but it could happen and it's 100% possible. It's not a fun time. J just trust me. Don't make regrets that you can never take back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter what birth control you use because that's not going to protect you from a disease. I'm trying to tell you, these men and women, don't get me wrong, these women be out here too. Men and women out here got mad diseases and they don't care. They don't care about your feelings, about your heart, about your body, about your health. They just want to get it real quick. This can potentially happen to you. So be careful. You really have to take a step back and think, hold on, wait a minute. Is what I'm about to do, is it going to be something that I could potentially 
regrets in the future. If it's not a 100% hell yeah, it's a 100% hell no. If the decision you're about to make is not a hell yeah, it's a hell no. Do you hear me? I am in no way, shape, or form trying to tell you what to do with your body because it's your body. Who am I to tell you what to do? Things are gonna happen. Feelings are gonna run high. You're going to make mistakes. Just know that if you do make a mistake, life goes on and everything will be okay. Everything is always okay in the end. It's okay. It's going to be okay. And it's okay to make mistakes. As long as you learn from it, you correct yourself in the future, you're good. We're humans. We all make mistakes. No amount of protection can 100% protect you from not getting pregnant and not getting a disease. Even if you use a condom, you can still get pregnant. Do you hear me? Be careful, be safe, and be aware. Don't be naive. And I'm gonna get a little personal, but if I could tell y'all the amount of people that have tried to get with me, like people from college, high school, from my jobs, they were always nasty and ew. Until later, I come to find out they got an STD, gonorrhea, HIV, chlamydia. Bro, I kid you not. There was a guy from my job who I later found out he was trying to get with all the girls at my job. Girl, tell me why he had AIDS and he was literally this one time they caught him taking his little AIDS medication. This is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad. But they caught him taking his medication. He was an idiot though. And someone saw his pills. It's so easy to get a disease. Protect yourself. These men and women don't care. They don't want to tell you. They're embarrassed. They just don't care. You just never know what can happen. Teenage decisions create adult problems. Teenage choices, teenage decisions create adult problems. Problems. Big boy, big girl problems. I want y'all to be safe with who you choose to have sex with. One in five people are living with an STI. More than 26 million people are infected with an STI. There are 110 million infections among men and women. And there's 20 million new cases every single year with STIs and STDs. This is why it is so important to get tested regularly. There is nothing embarrassing about protecting yourself, protecting your health and caring about your body and putting your health first. Who cares if none of your friends get tested? Who cares? And you want friends that want to protect themselves too and encourage you to do that as well. Get tested. No one is going to judge you. Have that peace of mind knowing that, okay, I can go into this knowing that both of us are safe. We don't have any diseases or infections and I truly care about this person and I truly trust this person with my life and I'm okay if this person does potentially become the parent of my child. Mm -hmm. Communicate with your partner about getting tested just so both of you guys can protect your health. If your partner has nothing to hide, they should be perfectly fine with getting tested. They should be happy to get tested with you because they care about your wants, your feelings, and your health, as well as their own health. If you see your partner doesn't care about their health, why would you want to sleep with them? Are they a dirty person? If they're dirty, don't you think down there are gonna be dirty too? You nasty. If they're making you feel bad or guilty for even considering getting tested, red flag. It could also mean that they have something to hide or they're probably with multiple partners and they don't want you to know. Don't let them manipulate you for being smart and taking care of your body. Do not let teenage brain lust bum ass dudes or women stop you from being smart and protecting yourself. Remember your actions have consequences so you want to make sure you're choosing to make the right decisions with intention. Don't you want to have that peace of mind? Ah oh, yes I know I'm clean I know I'm safe and I know I've been protected and I've been taking care of my body. Don't you want that peace of mind and not wondering like oh oh I wonder <laughs> even if you feel healthy even if you have no symptoms at all it's extremely important to get tested regularly especially if you're sexually active if you get tested you can have early detection so you can catch a potential infection early and take care of it sooner instead of it having it be there longer and it's worse for you in the end that way you can be able to treat it early on if you do potentially have an infection and also note too that a lot of STIs are asymptomatic meaning you you may not
not show any signs and you may not have any symptoms. So when you get tested, it ensures that you and your partner are healthy. If you don't want the chance of getting a disease, don't have sex. Now I'm not saying don't ever have sex and you can never have sex and enjoy your life. Like no, I'm not saying that. I want you to enjoy your experiences. I want you to enjoy your life. I'm just saying there's no race. There's no competition. Don't force anything, especially if you're not ready. Take your time and choose your partner wisely. Protecting yourself during sex is not just about preventing STIs, but it's about respecting your body, respecting yourself, and having enough love and respect for yourself to do what's needed. Your body is so sacred. Your body is a temple. And before you allow someone to be intimate with you, you have to make sure that you trust them and they earned you. It's not just a little, oh, he bought me flowers. Let's have sex. No, you got to put that work in. Don't just give it up immediately just because, oh my God, they're super cute. And oh my God, they have all this money and uh, no. Have standards and have respect for yourself and for your body. Don't just let anybody have access to your body just because they're nice to you or they said you're pretty or handsome or they buy you nice gifts. Like that is not enough. That is not enough. That is not enough. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You are more than enough. So why would you accept anything less? Sex is not love. Sex is not love. This goes for guys and girls because girls can be evil, evil, evil. Just because someone wants to have sex with you does not mean that they love you. Just because someone has sex with you does not mean that they care for you. Does not mean that they want to be in a relationship with you. Does not mean that they're in love with you. Does not mean that they see potential with you. Does not mean that they see a future with you. Does not mean that they see your worth, your value. Does not mean that they cherish you. Does not mean that they value you. Does not mean that they appreciate you. Sex is not love. Make sure you know what your standards are, what you will and what you won't tolerate. A lot of these men just want want you for your body. A lot of these men just want you for selfish reasons. Another perspective too, make sure you see the condom being opened because some men will purposely get you pregnant just to get you trapped and just to keep you tied to them forever. Some of these men are freaking crazy. It's more common than you think. A lot of them are manipulators. So make sure you see the condom being opened. I saw that on an episode of Law & Order and I was just like, oh my God, men be crazy. They'll treat you like a queen or a king and once they get what they want out of you, they treat you like an object and they throw you away when they're done with you and they get what they wanted. Don't fall for their traps. Those, hey, let me hit it right quick. Those type of people, hit it right quick. Hit it right quick. The hell? Don't let anybody talk to you or treat you any type of way. Do you understand me? Don't let anybody disrespect you and disrespect your body. Those hit it and quit it type people, uh-uh. Those little F boys, those are the people you need to freaking watch out for those f boys will f you up a lot of these men are suffering they're depressed they're anxious they got mental health issues they're broke unhappy immature they got mommy issues they got daddy issues so they gonna take it out on you they are battling their own demons and they want to use you as their pain reliever and this goes for women too you are nobody's object know your worth know your value and validate yourself so you don't look for validation in other people that just want to manipulate you and control you. Be very careful who you have sex with because you can have soul ties with someone. That's what sex does when you connect with them on that type of level. You have to realize that when you have sex with someone, their energy is transferred to you. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It could only be transferred. So whatever demons and low vibrational energy your partner has, they're going to pass that on to you when you guys have sex sex. And this is not a choice. The person doesn't get to choose. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna send bad vibes her way. No. The minute y'all decide to have sex is the minute their energy is transferred. Vice versa. You're going to get their energy. And if they have bad vibes, if they're fighting demons, if, if they're just fighting something within themselves, they're fighting battles within themselves, that they have low vibrations, it's gonna be transferred onto you. They don't have to say a thing to you. They don't have to confide in you. They don't got a trauma dump on you. They don't need to do none of that. All they gotta do is just have sex with you and you will have it trust you won't even have it 
you will feel it. You'll feel it within you. Whether it's a one night stand or a relationship, whether y'all got soul ties or not, their energy is going to be passed on to you. So no, it's not just about feelings and being caught up in the moment and oh my God, he's so cute and I like him and oh, it's just a one time thing. I'm not gonna get pregnant and I'm not gonna get a disease. I'm using protection and a condom will not protect you from soul ties. A condom is not gonna protect you from your energy being transferred. Mm -mm. You will be affected by this person's energy. Even if y'all never link up or talk again, you're gonna be left with those low vibrations. Sometimes if you do have sex or whatever, you sometimes may feel like, oh my God, I feel guilty. Sometimes you're not even feeling guilty. You just have that other person's energy and now you have everything that they were feeling. I'm telling, look it up. If you don't believe me, if you think I'm talking cray cray, girl, <laughs> mm -mm. the only way to be protected from this is to protect your energy. Be very selective with who you choose to have sex with. Be very selective with who you choose to open your body up to. And sometimes you can be left feeling depressed and have no idea why. And it's because you have this person's bad, low vibrational, negative energy on you. Take the time to truly love yourself and care for yourself in no way anyone has ever done. Take care and love yourself first so you know what it's like to be loved and cared for and you know what type of energy you will accept. Make sure you have boundaries and standards and you know what you will and won't tolerate in a relationship. Because once the relationship you have with yourself is so happy, it's so healthy, you will refuse to settle for less than what you already provide for your own self. You need to start asking yourself, what can you give me that I can't already give myself? That I don't already give myself? What can you really offer me? What value can you bring to me? What are you bringing to the table? Because baby, I'm eating at this table. I'm eating good. So you need to let me know what are you bringing to the table? Because you're not just going to come here and eat all my food to let me starve and you're full. No, you need to bring something to the table. Mm -hmm. This is why knowing what your requirements are for a partner is key. You have to know what you're going into this relationship with. What do you really want out of this relationship? Are you going to take it serious or is this just a little high school thing, whatever? That's cool. You know, have your little boyfriends, casually date, see what you like, see what you don't like. Don't think that, oh, this relationship has to be the one or that's it. No, I want you to be free. I want you to date around and see, I like this. I don't like this. Definitely not that. You can casually date and not have sex. You don't have to have sex with people that you date. You can communicate with them. I'm talking to other people, trying to see what I like. Be honest and open with them. And once you find that person that's like, oh, I think I want to take it serious with them. Then you can let them know, hey, I want to take this seriously. I'm not talking to anyone, blah, 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 blah. They can be like, I'm not talking to anyone either. And then y'all can decide then and there, okay, we're not talking to multiple people. We don't have multiple partners. Do we want to take this seriously? Do we see a future with each other? Do we want to get married in the future? You don't have to have sex with people that you're dating. Just because y'all are talking or even dating doesn't mean you owe them anything. Take your time with this. Don't feel rushed and pressured to marry them right away. Don't feel rushed and pressured to break up with them if you don't want to. Take your time. Figure out what you like and what you don't like. I went into more detail on how to actually find the perfect partner for you in my relationship video. Go check it out right here. Go check it out right here. If you want to learn how to find your man, find your girl, find your wifey, find your hubby. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Just because they say they love you, that does not necessarily mean it's true. What do their actions say? Don't believe anyone until their actions match their words. I don't care what they're saying. I don't care what they're telling you. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. You're such a princess. You're the only girl I'm talking to. You're so amazing. You're so valuable. They can be saying all these things like, yeah, you're valuable. You're amazing, blah, blah, blah. Saying the right things. But what are their actions saying? Let their actions do the talking. Their actions should show that they value you. Should show that they appreciate you. Should show that they love you. If the actions aren't matching up, if you have to question like, oh, well, they're not doing this and they're not putting the effort. They're not putting the energy. They're not hitting my line. They're not doing what they need to be doing. Then you know they will give you just enough to keep you here, but not enough to be like, okay, we ain't committed though. We ain't committed though. So be careful and be mindful. Don't just get into a situation or get locked in with a sneaky link just because you're bored and you want attention and affection. I promise you, I know it's hard to be lonely. The self-love journey is hard. And sometimes you just really want to go on Tinder and go on Hinge and go on Bumble and just find someone to talk to and find someone who just raises your self-esteem. It be like that sometimes. But I'm telling you, you just need to take time for yourself and love yourself because it's never worth it. That sneaky link, that situationship that you just can't commit to because you know it's not going to work out. It's never worth it because then 
then sex will become like a drug. Yes, sex can become a drug that will literally run and rule your life if you don't take a hold on it. I know this may sound crazy, but I'm telling you, you'll become so addicted to it to the point where it becomes like an escapism, to the point where you can't stand to be alone. You can't go one week, two weeks, a month without having sex. I have to be with someone. Why can't you be by yourself? Why are you so afraid to be in your own company? It's okay to be bored. Sit with your feelings. Go journal. Go take a cooking class. Go explore life. Go have some goals. Go hang out with your friends. Go to a happy hour. Decenter your mind from men or women if that's who you're into. Decenter your mind from a partner and focus on being the own partner for yourself and be that person for yourself. Give your own self that own affection and that own attention. Put yourself on. Be that for your own self so you don't feel like you need, need, need someone else because you're always going to give off that desperate energy. And when you give out desperate energy, guess what? You get desperate energy right back or you don't get the people that you deserve. You get someone that just treats you like a little roach that only comes at night, that only texts you at night. You are not a roach. Don't be, oh, he only hits you up at night or at 12, 1 in the morning. Girl, if you don't have some respect for yourself and block that man, you are not a roach. You don't only come out at night. If you can't talk to me in the day, if you can't meet me in the day, you are not going to see me at all. You're not going to be able to contact me or text me at all. Don't allow sex to be your drug. Don't allow it to become your greatest distraction. Your time will come. Just be patient and focus on what's important. And I know I say it all the time. I said it in this video right here. Go check it out right here. Focus on your goals. Check this video out. Check this video out right here. Focus on your goals. I'm telling you, once you have goals, no one will matter. You're going to be so focused on you. You're going to see yourself being able to accomplish more and more. And you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm capable of making this money. I'm capable of having these great experiences. I'm capable of making friends that I actually enjoy, that motivate me, that encourage me, that love me, that treat me the way that I deserve. I'm capable of creating the life that I want. I'm capable of enjoying a reality right now. I can actually enjoy my current circumstance without needing to go and meet somebody. Distract yourself with your goals. These men out here, these women out here, they're your biggest distraction. Sometimes even some friends. If your friends aren't on that level up journey with you, they can hold you back and hold you down. Sex will blind and distract you from accomplishing your goals, from seeing red flags, from seeing manipulation, from toxicity, from becoming the best version of yourself, from truly loving yourself, from raising your self-esteem, from getting your bag, getting your money, and from doing what's best for you. I, I don't know how to express this enough. It will either make you or break you and not in the good way, girl. I've seen this personally happen to so many people. It can really get to a point where you just start ignoring all those red flags from your little sneaky link, your little situationship. Like, oh, she was just saying, oh, and he was just, and he was just and making all these excuses. And instead you're just hurting yourself more and more and more because the more you allow these red flags, it's like a slap in the face. It's like you're slapping yourself in the face over and over again. You're telling yourself, my feelings don't matter. I am not valuable and I don't deserve to have the best of the best relationship. So I'm just gonna stay here and settle because oh, they're here right now and this is all I can get for right now. You need to be patient and you need to show that I'm okay with being alone and until you can get to that point you're not gonna see the greatness of life i know this is not what this video is about and i'm going off on a tangent right now but truly ask yourself why am i so afraid to be alone it's okay to be alone being alone is actually healthy not all the time of course but being alone is so healthy for your mental health it helps you just to figure out who you are know yourself know your wants your dislikes because when you're so surrounded by so much noise your parents talking at you negativity this that and the third your friends talking about let's go out again you just get so distracted and you don't get to focus on the voice in your head or you try to run away from it but you have to face it just because you've become so used to getting sex and having sex and you use sex as a clutch to escape your demons to escape what's haunting you at night to escape those thoughts that you try to run away from you try to drink away from you try to smoke away from you try to have sex away from you try to club away from just because you have sex to not have to deal Deal with all those problems and all those struggles that you're going through with your family, your home life, money, financial problems, feeling like you're not heard, religious problems that you don't want to deal with. Just because you don't want to deal with that situation does not mean that you should let yourself go. No matter what situation you're in, it's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Everybody knows what.
what I'm talking about. Everybody gets that way. But just acknowledge that you are worthy of greatness. It's not too late to get up and do what's best for you. Sex can be used as a way to run away from your life and your problems. So you don't have to focus on how much you actually don't enjoy your life. How much you're trying to run away from your problems. Stop living life on autopilot and take responsibility. Take life into your own hands. Literally take life into your own hands and control it the way you want it to be controlled. You are in the driver's seat. Don't live life on autopilot. You are in the driver's seat. Yes, you can make a decision today to change your life. It doesn't matter about your past. It doesn't matter about your past mistakes. You can change your life today. Just make the choice to do so. Just make sure you don't use sex as an escape. And if you are, that's okay. Always remember to come back to yourself and ask yourself, what is it that I'm running away from? What is it that I'm so afraid of? Why am I so afraid to be alone? Why do I always need somebody? Why do I feel like I need to constantly be dating someone? Why do I feel like I need to constantly be texting someone? What is the root issue? There is a root problem that you're trying to escape. Is it your parents? Is it your home life? What is it that you're running away from that you need to heal within you? Figure it out. I can't figure that out for you. Are, are you liking this video? You liking this video, aren't you? It's good, right? If you like the video, then why don't you go and like it? It only makes sense. Always ask yourself, what can this person do for me that I can't already do for myself? What value does this person bring to my life? Am I just doing this for pleasure? Am I just doing this to pass time? Am I just doing it because I'm lonely? I want attention and affection. Am I depressed? Am I running away from something? Is there something that I'm dealing with personally that I have to just figure out on my own? Am I just trying to avoid and run away from my problems? If you are, it's okay. It's escapism. We all do it. What is it that you're trying to avoid? You'll never be able to heal if you don't acknowledge that something is broken. It's gonna stay broken if you continue to just band-aid it up and just act like it doesn't exist. No. It's like you have a smell in your house and it smells disgusting and you need to clean your nasty house, wash some dishes, wash some clothes, sweep and mop, but instead you're just like, mm, it stinks in here. I'm just gonna spray some Febreze. La -de 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 -doo. I'm gonna just light a candle. I'm gonna just put a hair freshener in. Girl, there's only so much that air freshener can do. If you are not cleaning your environment, if you're not doing what you need to do, it's still going to smell and stink up your environment. You need to clear the root problem. You need to go tap into your mind and face it. Don't be out here having sex just because you feel like you're missing out, just because you wanna compete with someone, just because you feel like you're embarrassed. Girl, you ain't missing out on a damn thing. Okay, buy yourself a toy. Buy yourself multiple toys. Have fun. Pleasure your own self. I'm telling you. Obviously, it's not going to be the same as having sex with someone. I understand that. Obviously, it's hard when you really, really just want to be intimate with someone. I understand that. I get it. Be patient, though. When you put out into the universe that I am worthy, I am valuable, I'm going to stay patient, I'm going to do what's best for me, I'm going to focus on myself and my goals for now, the universe will see, oh, wow, she's really focusing on herself and she's not putting out desperate energy. She's actually caring about herself to put her feelings aside and to put the feelings of feeling lonely and wanting that attention for herself she really really loves herself i'm gonna give her someone that's gonna love her even more yeah but you know what i'm gonna have her focus on her goals for a little bit for a couple months for even a year or two and then i'm gonna give it to her but you have to put the work in you have to put the work into yourself my love because it's always worth the wait i promise you trust me i don't want you to be discouraged from never having sex in your life or feeling that you're never gonna find the right person or you're never ever going to be able to have sex or enjoy life or have fun i just want you to be prepared when it's with the right person you will know not only will you know your mind will know and your body will know and you will have the best experience of your life it won't even compare to your little situationships and your little sneaky links because when it's with someone you have an actual connection with and i'm not talking a soul tie connection i mean a deep spiritual connection with it's different when it's with someone that cares for you loves you values you cherishes you it's different and it's nothing you could ever experience with any of these little dingling a dingling a lings Don't rush, be patient, and wait for the right person until you truly feel ready. There's no rush. And guess what? You are the right person. You don't gotta wait for nobody. You are the right person. Be that right person for yourself first before you try to find it in everyone else and you try to validate yourself from everyone else. Validate your own self. Give yourself your own stamp of approval. This is not no race. This isn't no rush. It's not going up your status. Focus on yourself. Focus on your goals. Goals. Focus on creating a life that you love. And if you don't believe you can do that, focus on getting yourself to believe that. Just focus on the actions and I promise you the beliefs will come. But you have to do the actions. Sometimes you gotta do the actions first to show yourself like, hey, I'm actually serious about creating the life that I want. So how about we start believing that I can do it? Because look, I'm doing the actions and it's actually happening for me. You're gonna start to see just
just do it. Everything that's meant for you will come to you in due time and it will come to you when you're focusing on yourself and you're focusing on your goals and you're not giving out desperate, needy, needy energy. No, you give all that energy that you're giving to your situationships and your little sneaky links and your little ding links Give it to yourself. Give yourself all the love. Be freaking selfish, my G. Be selfish out here with your energy, with your body, with yourself. <sighs> you hear me? I really mean this with so much love and care because I wish someone told me this. I just want you to be safe and I truly want you to be happy and I want you to provide your own happiness. I don't want you to look to anyone to make you happy. Honestly, I really don't. I want you to find your own happiness because no one can take away what you give and provide for your own self. You hear me? Okay, okay. Get tested regularly. Be smart with who you have sex with. Understand the consequences of sex. Protect yourself during sex. Love yourself through it all and focus on your yourself and focus on your goals. You really can take control of your life and you are in control. You can control where your journey takes you. You are in control of the car. You're the driver. You are in control of the path you go on. You are in control of having amazing experiences. Just because you've never seen it, just because no one in your family has ever taken the step to create their dream life, does not mean that you cannot do it. Sometimes you're the chosen one. Sometimes you gotta take one for the team. Sometimes you gotta do the hard stuff. Sometimes Sometimes you gotta break the generational curse. It's you, it's you. Don't make the same decisions that you see everyone else in your family or your friends do. Do something different. Make the choice to do what's best for you. Create a life that you love and you enjoy. Make your own money, make big bank. Focus on your goals so you never gotta struggle. Be the first millionaire in your family. It's not even about money, I'm just saying. You can have amazing experiences, you can travel, you can, I, I can't. Life can be so great for you if you don't let fear shelter you, let fear excite you. Don't let fear hold you back, let it motivate you, let it excite you, okay? The unknown is scary, but I promise you, you just have to push through and everything will work out for you and you will finally see like, oh my God, this is the dream life she was talking about. It's all in the little things. You're allowed to say no as many times as you need to, okay? You're allowed to say no. Make sure you have consent. Men, don't force yourself on women. Just because your mama's never taught you, I'ma teach you. Don't force yourself on women just because you want some. Have respect for yourself and for the other person. Always make sure you have consent. Don't force nothing on nobody. Never force yourself on anybody. Make sure you get consent first. And if you don't wanna have sex, you can say no at any time, any time. You have every right to your body. Don't ever be in a rush to be an adult. Don't be in a rush to grow up. Don't be in a rush to have kids. Like, bro, enjoy your life. Take your time and enjoy life. My G. It's going to happen at the time that's meant for you. Focus on yourself. Get in tune with yourself. Focus on what your spirituality is, what your beliefs is. Like, don't care about what your parents say, what your friends are doing. Focus on what do I believe in. Really get in touch with who you are before you allow anyone else to know that, to tap into that, and to get in touch with you and such an intimate way. Sex is life changing. It will change your life if you don't have it with the right person. I promise you sexual experiences, they stay with you forever, whether you want it to or not. So please be selective with who your sexual partners are and be very careful with who you choose because you can't take it back. So yeah, you all, I have so much more to say, but I don't want this video to be too long or longer than it already is. So thank y'all so much for watching my channel. I love you angels so much. Like truly, thank you for riding with me. I I know this channel is a little rocky and I'm trying out some new content and honestly I'm just doing what I love. I'm doing this for you because I genuinely love making this type of content and I want to help you and I know the views will come at the perfect time and don't forget to like this video so we can get it to as many angels as possible. If you want to see more videos like this you gotta hit the like button girl. How am I gonna know if y'all like the content if you aren't liking? Y'all just watching and just not liking. Just go into your little YouTube app and press like. That's it. Don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can always be notified when I drop some new heat. You don't gotta wonder, oh my God, is she gonna post? Is she gonna, girl, press the bell. You gonna know. I'm gonna come knocking at your door. I'm gonna come knocking at your door. New video. Hello. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Ooh.